what I love about Juvia's um, character is that she started out, like, in if you remember in the fight that Grey and Juvia had, she was, like, saying, well, as soon as he said his whole, you know, uh, oh, the rain is, is, like, you know, depressing or whatever, when he was, when he, when he turned, like, they were talking and he was just, like, he started, like, being negative about the rain and she... She, that's when it set her off. She she was like she had those flashbacks to the people who rejected her and didn't want anything to do with her and made her feel bad because she couldn't help the rain. Um, and she's like, I don't need love. That's what she said. She said, Juvia doesn't need love. And now her character is all about love. You know, she was she started out as somebody as somebody who had just given up on love because she felt like she'd never have it. Because no one would ever want to give her any love. And she'd never find anyone to love. And she found Grey. And she fell in love. And that's why the rain, in my opinion, it was not just that Grey froze it. It was that it stopped because she fell in love. And that made her happy. She had something positive, finally, in her life. A good thing. And it was love. And, and love, as we saw that they keep telling us love is like the most powerful thing it's what magic is based on it's what gives them their power that's what that's what um like sperms them on sperms them on to win um sperms <laughs> love is the most important thing in fairy tale so um juvia mashima even lab her, labeled her as that recently that she is the love make mage he wrote that on somebody when he did an autograph session recently he, someone wanted juvia bless this person uh to be drawn and he he labeled her love make mage as in gray's ice make but she's love um so yeah and she's constantly every single fight she has whether she's showing love towards a friend or the guild or gray or even in this recent one where she's 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 um you know talking about the love between Grey's dad and and him and that 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 it you know that she believes in it she believes in that love and and Juvia has basically become the spokesperson for love in the series and that makes her one of the strongest characters in my opinion because love is supposed to be people's strength in fairy tales so if she's all about love then she's she and she is strong mashima just doesn't use her because that's not the point of juvia juvia is you know she's she's comedy she is um she that is her main characteristic she she's there to be comedy relief she's there to you know for the funny ha-has she's there to make a joke she's there to make you laugh and uh, she does usually um uh, but at the end of the day, her core characteristic, what she actually is, isn't that far off from what Grey is. I mean, if you think about how she reacted, especially to, like, Leon, um, she, she, she acted pretty much like Grey acts when, when Juvia tries to pursue him. They're all very similar. I mean, Leon is like Grey. Leon is Grey, except that he's older, more mature, and a lot more pompous, in my opinion. Uh, so the fact that Juvia didn't fall for him, it showed even more so how much she's in love with Grey. Like, it's not about anything else. It's just that she wants Grey because that's who she loves. That's, it's, it's deeper than just, like, shallow stuff. Like, Leon is another Grey, he's another handsome guy, and he's, he actually is in love with her, and yet she's just like, I don't care. She even, and the thing is, she didn't want to, she didn't want to reject him. She respected him. She respected him probably, A, because he was showing her affection and attention and probably something that she's never had before, somebody telling her that he loved her in a romantic way. Um, so I think that she she did appreciate that, but at, and she didn't want to hurt his feelings. She didn't... She also respected him because he's Grey's senpai and, you know, also like a brother to him and, you know, such a such a big part of his history. And and she... she that's why he's Leon-sama. Okay, so that, again, shows that she she acknowledges how much he's like Grey, but also um, how important he is to Grey, and also just just that she likes him, but not in that way. Okay, and, and, and she actually got quite angry when Shelia accused her of, like, using her feminine wiles to, like, like bewitch Leon, and he, she's like, how dare you like her? I love her faces because... It is. It's funny. That's why I like the, 
the moment where she kicks that guy for trying to hug Grace and from behind, apparently, in her opinion. Um, because, you know, she's just, like, so outraged. She's, like, like indignant. How dare you? I'm not, I'm not. She's like, my Jibia uh, only has eyes for Grace Savage. You know, I never asked him to love me. You know, so she she did. She She's acting very similar to to Grey in that she's kind of bemused by this this attention from him. She's never been pursued like that, and she didn't care for it either. So she had, like, a taste of her own medicine at the same time, which is why why the Groovian thing was so funny. And that's when it became my OTP, by the way. 